this next match here at CKW on your screen, Power and Creed. <laughs> this is a match that was set up by Cowboy Bill DeWick. I don't know how he collaborated with Van Hallington to set this match up because Van Hallington is his own man. He doesn't even work for Dr. Wozniak, yet they've been teaming up lately. I have no idea why. He wants that hard worker championship and he'll do anything in his power to make sure he has the advantage at Halloween Night of Extreme. He set up James Attitude through some legal bullcrap. Set up a match for James Attitude here tonight against Van Hallington in an Extreme Rules hardcore match because he wants James Attitude to be less than 100% at Halloween Night of Extreme. It's a non-title match, obviously, because if Van Hellington won this, you know, Cowboy Bill would have to go up against Van Hellington. This, but the, like, Cowboy Bill tried to pull some legal trouble saying he could set up a match before his opponent in a show. I said no, 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 no bullcrap to that. Later on tonight, we have a match set up for Cowboy Bill as well that James set up. He just said his opponent's going to be a mystery. Cowboy Bill straight up came up and just chose Van Hallington as James's opponent here tonight. But James is being very secretive on the opponent he chose for Cowboy Bill. <laughs> Coming up later in the show. And his opponent from your darkest fears. Weighing in at 256 pounds. Van Hennen And if you don't know, besides one tag team matchup, which he wasn't the one to even get the fall, Van Hellington has been undefeated since he showed up earlier this season. So by technicality, he's no longer undefeated, but in terms of one-on-one -on -one matches, yes, he still is undefeated. I put that in quotations that way. But man, is he a monster. If he ever loses, it has to be a freaking shutout. Like someone has to screw him over, like 20 people on one. He's defeated three-on-one -on handicap matches. He's defeated every wrestler, left, right, and center, KOs, submissions, powerhousing them through pinballs. I don't know who the hell this guy is. There's a mystery about him. And Cowboy Bill chose him to take on James Attitude here tonight. And James is ready because he just wants to put on a fight. He wants to take on and he wants to beat Cowboy Bill. And we got a freaking clothesline from Van Hellington. And he was able to resuscitate that by missing the first time. Like I said, this is a powerhouse move. And he has him with that. And he takes him down. One. Oh, one count barely. Extreme rules. Oh god, he just damn well clotheslined outside the ring. And he chucks him. Chucks him down. It's been mostly a Van Hallington thing, but people are... I mean, let's be honest, people have been putting up fights against him, but in the end, he always comes out on top. And besides that tag team matchup, which Dr. Wozniak took the pinfall, and that's probably a reason why him and Wozniak haven't been seen anywhere near each other since that match, because he doesn't want him on his streak losing matches, despite the fact I don't even think freaking Van Hallington cares about wins and losses. He just cares about going out there and killing people and destroying people, leaving them broken messes. He's done that with a bunch of wrestlers this season. Joey Spector, Oe, you know, O'Shea by a cash money. Three freaking celebrities. He destroyed freaking Jack Sparrow's version of Johnny Depp, Tony Hawk, and freaking uh, Justin Bieber. God. And a freaking comeback from 
the champion from Hard Worker Champion. There is a match set up between Cowboy Bill DeWick and James Attitude at Halloween. And they're getting themselves prepped up here tonight because they both got a chance to pick an opponent for them. Despite the fact that Bill was trying to weasel his way out of getting a match from James. And I said, no, there's no legal freaking equality, equal freaking treatment if you do it and he doesn't. And a clothesline. Um, Van Hallington just taking it and destroying James' attitude. Chucking him inside the ring, or and outside the ring there near the... He's taunting, but you have to keep your eyes on him. Oh, he missed the kick. And he missed the attack. It's funny, this is Extreme Rules and no one's going... Oh, speak of the devil. He's going for a sledge hammer. And he has a steel chair! He drops him with the freaking back neck breaker. He's got that chair. But no, James is fighting back. Throws him back into the ring. He has that steel chair. Oh! Off the side of the head. What the hell? What the hell's going on here? Oh god, you got a reversal DDT! He's just getting all those attacks now. All these attacks. That distraction caused him to get beaten up, but did not cause him to lose. Did not cause him to get distracted enough for a defeat. As he has that steel chair, and he's walking up. Oh! He throws him. Outside. Is he going to... Hey, yes, there he is. He throws him in the corner and he threw him on the outside. And he dropped... Oh! That was the first time i ever seen Van Halen to miss one of those. He tried to go for a running thing and jumped straight over James. He's got the sledge hammer. He's got that sledge hammer. And he's egging him to come meet him outside the ring. And there goes James. And a takedown from James. And a freaking gut check from Van Hellington. Not letting up face first my god what the hell he has James up oh god no the mist the mist and now he's just getting pissed here and he's taking it on James that distraction from the thing very well has him pissed. Oh, and leg! He's gone by the leg. He has him. Oh, Lord! James! Oh! James! Comes back. DDT's him. Oh, Lord. He got right. Holy hell, he got right off. And no, it's. Oh, God. He freaking slapped the hell out of him. Double handed. Jumps. Oh, 
Drop. Oh, look into the ropes. He dropped him into those ropes. And he has a neck breaker. And he gets right back up. James is coming back. One. No. Oh. Oh my god, a monster of a man getting right back up. James, you better be finishing this match. Either you take that pinfall, get counted out, something. If you want a chance against Cowboy Bill, don't try to go for the pin. No one's been able to go for the pin. No one's been able to take out freaking Van Hallington. A big boot. And the fans here booing, they're cheering. The hell for James. Damn it. Oh, he drops him with the neck breaker. But no oh god. Oh he tried to reverse it, but James caught him back. That distraction, ever since that distraction from the Titan Tron, it's been leaving Van Hallington weakened for some reason, or distracted, like someone's watching his back. Oh, and a kick. James has him up for a sidewalk. Slam onto the chair! Will that be enough? Why? No, it looks like Van Hellington let the Van Hellington let go or did he kick out? James. Stun guns him. But he gets right back up. What do you have to do to put this man down? No man has been able to do it, and James has been getting some of her hands ever since that Titan Tron mouth. I'm gonna say I'm gonna call it a malfunction, but I don't know. Someone is some. What the hell? It distracted. He has the sledgehammer. God damn, he has the ladder. He has the ladder. Oh. Ben Hallington gets right back. Up. What do you have to do to put this man down for good? He slams him right into the turnbuckle. I mean, sister, I'm getting turned, tossed and turned around here. Into the barricade. And he's getting up. They both go into the ring. Double axe handle. Arm drag. Oh, God, he has the super kick. He has the super kick. He has the super kick, and he's gonna kick it right into the mask! One, two, no! The referee. God, he's going for the second time. Van Hellington. One. Two. Are you gonna tell me he's gonna hit me? I did! Holy hell! Are you serious? Am I? Am I? My eyes deceiving me? That match started off so hard with Van Hellington destroying James. Then the Titan Tron distracted him and caused James to get a chance to get a comeback, but you never saw him go down. It was one count. It was two counts. He kept sitting up like the dead man. But two super kicks. All it took, and I see a crack on his mask. I see a freaking crack on his mask. After that second super kick, we finally see a loss on Van Hellington. He is not He is not undefeated anymore. He is not indestructible. But how much anger must be going in his mind that he finally does have a loss one-on-one -on -one 
and it's against James that it was because of this challenge because of Cowboy Bill. What the hell?